Hello everyone, it's Paddy from Smart Air and today I'm going to be covering whether or not you can microwave your mask. So we've had hundreds of people ask us this question and right now with COVID-19 and the coronavirus spreading around, we are all facing the problem of having to reuse our masks. So microwaving them is just one of the crazy ideas that's cropped up and today we're going to answer that question of whether or not it actually works. So uh, to first off, to answer this question, we want to split it down into two parts. First off, we want to see whether or not microwaving items can actually kill viruses that are on them. So to answer this question, we're going to look to a piece of research done by some researchers and scientists in Germany. What they did was uh, take took common microwaves, so just your everyday microwaves you have in your home, and uh, they used them to test whether or not they could kill hepatitis C and HIV on syringes and cigarette filters. They wanted to do this because they wanted to see whether or not microwaving syringes and cigarette filters could be a good way to stop the transmission of hepatitis C and HIV amongst drug users. So what did they do? They took the plastic part of the syringe and the cigarette filters and then contaminated them with hepatitis C and HIV. They then subjected them to three minutes in the microwave at different power levels. You can see all the power levels here, the, uh, the ones that they use. The results showed that microwaving at 360 watts for three minutes was enough to significantly reduce the virus infectivity. Uh, here are the graphs, pretty good, uh, three, 360 watts for three minutes. But to be on the safe side, these researchers recommended microwaving at 600 watts for two minutes or longer. The good news is most household microwaves on high can reach up to 600 watts. Here's the conclusion from these researchers. If you want to see the full, full uh, paper, you can check out the link in the comments below. Okay, so that research was done for HIV and hepatitis C, but what about the coronavirus? Well spotted, the um, coronavirus is different from HIV and hepatitis C, so how long can that last when subjected to microwaves? Uh, there's very little research done right now on the COVID-19 coronavirus specifically, but we can look to a piece of research done on uh, the human parainfluenza. So that's an RNA, uh, RNA virus, very similar uh, or similar to, in some ways to the COVID-19 virus. They're both from the RNA virus family. So what these scientists did is they took Petri dishes and they put them in the microwave for three minutes on high and they found that yes, that was enough to disinfect the Petri dishes from the in human parainfluenza. Again, that's still not exactly the same as the coronavirus, but it's perhaps close enough and it also backs up the first experiment. Okay, so we know that microwaving items can actually kill viruses on them. Now the next question is, if I microwave my mask, will I actually affect its performance? Will I still be able to use it and wear it? So to answer this question, I commandeered the microwave in the Smart Air office and I took a 3M N95, just like this one I'm holding here, and I took it apart. Now here's the actual one that I took apart and you can see I had to really pick it to pieces because there was lots of metal in this mask that I had to take off. And to be perfectly honest, in doing that, I pretty much destroyed the mask and very unlikely I'm gonna be able to use that mask again. But to continue with the experiment and to see whether or not this microwaving masks would actually damage their filtration efficiency, I continued and I took this mask and I put it in the Smart Air microwave for three minutes on high. After a couple of minutes, there started to be a smell, not great, but I per per persevered and I continued with the experiment. Fortunately, we managed to get around to the three minutes with no big mishaps. And uh, took, the mic took the mask out of the microwave and I went to test its filtration performance. I used a sa similar method or the same method that I've used on other experiments. You can find out those in the links below, such as this one where I tested kitchen towel paper um, to see whether or not that was an effective material for masks. And what I found with this mask, this N95 mask, was actually that microwaving didn't affect its effectiveness, didn't affect its filtration efficiency. So good news there, microwaving the mask didn't affect its filtration efficiency. But however, putting your mask in the microwave may well cause other problems. For example, there's this guy in, uh, in the UK, there's reports of this guy who put his dishcloth or, uh, or his tea towel in the microwave and he managed to set fire to his kitchen. 
So there's always the risk of putting items like this in the microwave. You may well set fire to them or you may well damage your microwave. So bottom line, in short, yes, microwaving uh, items using common household microwaves can kill viruses if you have them on high uh, for at least three minutes. But however, putting a mask in the microwave, first of all, you might have to destroy your mask to do it. And secondly, um, secondly, your mask may well catch fire or you may damage your microwave. So probably not recommended, not one of the things that we would recommend doing to disinfect your mask. That said, there are much more reliable ways that also don't damage or affect the filtration efficiency of your mask. You can check out one of those ways in the links below and uh, leave any comments or any thoughts you guys have on the video. Great talking to you and I hope this open data from Smart Air has been useful and will help you all protect yourselves at this time. Stay safe and breathe safe.